Hello everyone, welcome back to Martian Gothic Unification. Do you know what I love so much about this game? It's all about unification. It's about friends coming together. See, look, this woman wants to hug me. Oh, what are you doing, ma'am? Don't bite my neck. Get the fuck off of me. Jesus Christ. I almost sounded a bit Australian there. And now my accent's completely gone. <clears throat> Let me try to get it back. Excuse me, ma'am, are you okay? Are you hurt? Are you harmed? Do you want me to call the medic? Hold on, let me call the medic. Reliable radio, but limited range. Never mind, you're fucked. Okay, time to leave. Goodbye. Alright, time to deal with this person. Okay, I think at this point in the game there are about three different things I can do. I, I can kill this floating, levitating, mind controlly man. I can attempt to use my green tag for dorm number four, which I might or might not be able to access. Not sure whether I can or not. And the other thing I can do is switch over to Matlock and explore where she is now that her door has been opened. I think the first thing I'm going to do is shoot this person. I know it's not very much in the spirit of unification, but eh, fuck it. Okay, let's see what we have to work with. Duct panel, tightly sealed. I don't like the sound of that heavy breathing in there. Neither do I. I actually originally thought that that sound was coming from the levitating zombie, but apparently it's coming from inside of the duct. What do you have on you? Oh, what do you know? I have a locked panel and an electronic screwdriver. Micro <coughs> Micro recorder from Robert Seeger. Hmm. Okay, if I remember right, I think what's inside of there is some sort of an RC car, which I believe I control with that RC remote thing, like the baby bug remote or whatever it's called, which I stashed somewhere. I don't remember where. A few months on Mars and already I'm fully acclimatized. I'm fitting in here just dandy. They put me in Arkham Dorm. The place names and car signs around here are a bit of a Vita-based joke, but it feels sort of weird in there. I always dreamt in color until I slept in Arkham Dorm. Now all my dreams are in black and white. Mr. Ober, he's a cheap supervisor, one of the big three around here, along with Felici and Haraway. He gave up his quarters to Mei Lin and moved into Arkham with his lower grades. I guess the idea was to boost morale in the dorm. He's a great guy, Mr. Ober. In fact, I gave him one of the abstract paintings I composed yesterday. I did two paintings, each an exact duplicate of the other. It's a sort of common and human duality and, you know, deep stuff like that. They started me off on dark maintenance. My job may not sound much, but it's important, and it'll lead to bigger things. I'm young, I'm going for it, and I've made a good start. I just know I'm going to have a great time here on Mars. There's something tells me he did not have as good of a time as he thought he would have. Hmm. Well, I guess I'll go ahead and unscrew this. Wait a minute, actually, what is past here? Like, what? what's this door? The boulevard saying blah, blah, blah. Oh, okay, so in, in Boulevard Saint Michelle, in the top right, I think the duct is that dotted line that leads to the rainbow room. So the door on my right must lead to that place that doesn't have a color, so I guess I can just go in there. I guess so. Alright, let's get this thing open. Gee, I sure hope that zombie right at my foot doesn't wake up. Oh, hi, buggy. There's something in here, just within reach. Excellent. How about you reach in? Are you serious? He comments upon the fact that it's just within reach, but he won't reach in. That gap's too small. 
and my shoulders are too wide. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Uh... Your shoulders are not too wide. You're, like, perfectly designed to fit right inside of that duct, actually. No, I'm pretty sure what you need to do, actually, is... <clears throat> I think you need to bring someone with the remote here. Or, or, you know, just give the remote to someone else, and then you control it. I don't think you actually pick it up directly. At least not at this stage. So, yeah, I don't think I do anything with that yet. Alright, let's see what's in here. White tag required. Wait, what? There's such a thing as a white tag? Oh. I thought that was just blank. Okay, I guess I'll give dorm number four a shot, and then switch to Madlock. Oh, wait, wait a minute. No, he grabbed it? He grabbed the baby bug. Okay. Didn't even know he did that. A small toy buggy. But where's the remote control? Where did I put the remote control? I think it's with Karn. Or, I think it's in a bulkhead, or, you know, a storage compartment that Karn used. Holy shit, there's a, a note inside of the baby buggy. Alright, well, I need more room. Alright. Don't need this. Don't think I need the electronic screwdriver anymore. But I don't really want to get rid of it. What is this booklet again? Tips for video games. Totally useless. Okay, in that case, if it's totally useless, then dump it. I'm a long way from Tokyo. Alright, I don't think I need this photo anytime soon, if ever. Uh, what else can I get rid of? Oh, wait a minute, I still have this. I don't need this, right? Antonio Felici, base director. No, I don't need that anymore. Okay, there we go. If you find this blasted baby bug, Carter, then I've hidden the damn thing in the wrong place. I've had it up to here with you shooting the baby bug under my feet, okay? Now you found it, I don't want it anywhere near me again, or I'll stomp your little toy to smithereens, you hear me? Yours, on second thought. Up yours, Andrew Muir. <laughs> Someone doesn't like RC cars. Alright, well, funny as that note is, I don't need it. Okay, well... I mean, I guess I could do the baby bug now? Nah, let's do it later. Okay. Dorm number four. That's number two. So let me figure out where I am. Dorm number two. Yep, yep, yep. I need to continue along down and then take a... Take a left or a right. I'm not sure which. I think it might be sealed off by a bulkhead, right? Wait, no, this is the airlock. Is the airlock too far? No, I need to keep going and then take a left. I believe it's... I think it's sealed off by a bulkhead, though, isn't it? Yeah, it's sealed. Okay, so let's see what I can do. I can switch to Matlock or I can try the baby bug thing. Let's switch to Matlock. Here goes nothing. Mining access area, nicknamed Times Square. Air foul, light levels low. I would say the light levels are actually pretty high. Um, yeah, I'd actually say it's very well lit in general. Looks like the floor's lit more than the walls, though, which is kind of strange. 
Alright, can I mess with any of this equipment? I don't think so. I mean, let's go this way. No, this way. Let's go. Which way? Which way? Which way? This way. No, seriously, though. Alright. I came from the airlock. Oh, wait. No, I am at Times Square. Okay. So three different three different directions. One one requires a blue tag. Right, okay, I need to get her to a tube, because I don't have any blue tags on her. But he has two. Alright, well I'm not sure which way this is, but what the hell, let's go. Mm, something tells me this isn't going to open. There's a loose cable right by the door. Hmm. It's wedged tight. It'll take some force to dislodge this door. Loose cable. What can I do with a loose cable? Reconnect it? Who might have the equipment to reconnect it? No, I don't think any of that's going to work. I can't remember what I put in the bulkheads. You know, what I've stowed away for use later. But I don't think I have what I need. Don't think I need to do that just yet. Can I do something with this fire extinguisher? No. Oh, hi. Ooh. A, a scarab? the hell is that doing on Mars? An Egyptian scarab, gold-plated. Gold-plated. Like, literally, gold? Wait, is, is this an insect or, like, a brooch? Or a brooch, whatever the hell it's called. Because I'm pretty sure insects don't have gold. I... The hell am I gonna do with that? What would I need gold for? I guess it could be used to conduct electricity? Maybe used on the wire somehow? I don't know. Blue tag required. Actually, let's try that right now. Nope. Ooh. Ooh. Hacksaw. Hello. I know where I want to use that. It's to be used on a certain arm in a certain bathroom that a certain Kenzo has access to. That's gonna be fun. Need a hand? Short, with sharp teeth. I had a dog like that once. Fascinating. Tell me more. Some Vita Base in joke, I suppose. That text is damn near impossible to read. I think it says... I say, Holmes, just what has Ural been up to in Chemlab, concocting a subversive cocktail, I'll be bound? What? I, I don't know what the hell that says. I guess I might need it. I have a pretty open inventory, so I might as well keep it. Okay, well, I don't think I need a freaking nicotine patch. So 
So I can dump that. I can't even look at the photos. So what the hell's the point of it? I don't think I need a contact lens for a while, so let's get rid of that. Okay. What the fuck am I hearing? Is there a Velociraptor trapped in here? Are there space dinosaurs? B. Okay, where am I? To be or not to be? I'm at a place with a lot of doors. Red, blue, blue, gray, and brown. I think I'm at Piccadilly Circus. I don't know, let's try them all. Red tag required. Nope. That noise does not give me comfort. Jesus, what the hell is that? Blue tag required. I don't want to open any of these doors. Gray tag required. Blue tag required. Wait, there's a dead body here? Oh, oh shit, I think it's coming from here. Well, there's my brown tag. Oh wow, I didn't think I'd find cigarettes on Mars, but I did. freezes my fingers just to touch this corpse. Why is it so ice cold? Wait, I can't do anything with this lighter? I make do with nicotine patches these days. I literally cannot do anything with this lighter. I can't examine it. Nothing. Sound like a man with a volatile temperament, Yuri Andreevich. Okay, so we've got some improvised explosives somewhere. Okay. Brown tag required. Oh, great! I have the brown tag to enter the room that has a screaming monster. I can't wait. Hmm. Is that the only place that requires a brown tag? Yep. Okay. Well, I haven't found any vac tubes, so at the moment I have no way to get her any... any of the blue tags. I've got so many items that I'm having a hard time keeping track of them all. Okay, so what I know I can do... I know I can use the baby bug remote on the baby bug RC car thing, and I think use it in that vent to get to the other end, I guess, or something like that, maybe. I know I can use this hacksaw to get that person's arm from the bathroom with Kenzo. However, I don't actually need the arm at the moment, so there's no point in doing that. A lighter seems like something that can come in handy, but I don't know what to use it on right now. In fact, given that there's an improvised explosive, maybe the lighter and the cigarettes are used to get a timed... a timed fuse for the bomb? That would make sense, actually. 
It would take the cigarette a couple, probably a couple minutes to burn down. Isn't that kind of like a classic improvised explosive fuse sort of thing? All right, fuck it. You know what? I'm going in brown room. <sighs> I don't think this. I think this room is not going to be the only thing that's brown after I'm done. What the fuck is in there? Okay, here we go. <laughs> now we're getting somewhere. Y yeah, I don't know if you're getting where you want to get though. You might be getting closer to knocking on death's door. Okay, well I didn't die. The, the fuck is in here? Could I see, please? Great, I have to go in blind. Biochemical and Associated Activities Research Laboratory, known to its friends as Chemlab. Where the hell did the noise go? Hello? Anybody? Maybe it's through that blood-soaked locker? Nope. Holy shit, what do we have? Receptor panel, desk key. Desk... Ooh, this is probably for Kenzo. Yeah. We've got some lichen. Lichen. Are you liking my pronunciation? Ha. <sighs> Receptor panel. <laughs> I can't examine that either. It's like the game writers ran out of time. Could be a desk key. Could be. Apparently you've already decided it is because you called it desk key. Let's see if she pronounces it Lichen. Or Lichen or whatever the hell Karn pronounced it as. Antitoxins can be derived from this particular Lichen. Lichen? Seriously? Again? Antitoxins can be derived from this particular lichen. Okay, given that they both pronounce it lichen, I guess... I guess it's an alternative pronunciation, just like herb and herb. I've never heard it before, though, ever. I guess it's just not a word that I hear very often. Alright, what have we got? Ooh, vac tube, hello. Oh, what the hell is this? Martian rock. A Martian rock. Was it sent by Vactube or received? Or does it matter either way? Mm, nope. I don't think it matters. Question is though, what the hell can I do with it? Alright, did I have anything to give anyone? Yes. All right, I need to give the hacksaw and the key to Kenzo. And then once Kenzo receives that, I'll give the blue tags to Matlock. All right, what is this? Chemical combiner. Okay. So wait, let me get this straight. The chemical combiner only accepts one item. Something that is meant to combine usually takes at least two different substances, no? And it only allows you to put one in. That makes sense. Sure. Alright, before I do any of that, let me explore the rest of this stuff. Uh, something tells me I'm going to be doing some science, because I'm getting flasks and Martian rocks, and there's a chemical combiner. Oh god, there's a biosensor? Nope. Nope, I'm not taking that. They are a recipe for crashing. Okay, computer time. 
Alright, this is the general topics, right? Yep. Don't believe I have any passwords that could work for these. Nope. Alright, let's check out local. Judith Haraway, Personal Audio Journal, October the 23rd, 2017. It's the first time I've used one of these things, but I can't talk to anyone else, so I'll talk to myself. I put on a hap hap happy face for the rest of the staff, although I doubt I've fooled anyone. Mood has been rather cryptic and ominous recently. I suspect she knows more about our discovery than she lets on. She's very reticent about the Thule file. <sighs> All the trouble started the night after breakthrough day. That night, we all dreamed the same dream and awoke with the same word on our lips, Akarak. It's hard to recall that dream. Bewildering shapes, alien music, a snowstorm in an exotic jungle, a sense of colossal loneliness stretching over billions of years. Oh, it's impossible. Can't grasp it. Dreams are the slipperiest of fish. Ever since the start of Operation Akarak, something has invaded the base. It's a subtle invasion, slow, quiet and discreet. It's an atmosphere, a presence. There was a time I wasn't afraid of the night. Judith Haraway, Project Director. I've heard her voice before. But where? Yeah, didn't she send the, like, the distress call? I think she did. Alright, let's check out this chemical combiner. Hmm. Okay, so you choose what you want. Uh, I'll take morphine. I'm gonna go out in a drugged daze, feeling super comfortable. Well, that didn't work. Okay, so I'm guessing you can I'm guessing you can put like the lichen or the brown herb or whatever the hell that kind of stuff I found is and then turn it into the base chemicals and then use it to make like healing syringes or something. Plus I'm sure it's used for other stuff as well. Hmm. All right, well, vac tube time. Wait a minute, hold on. Before I do that, let me check how many saves I've got on this computer. Martian Mayhem. Got the worst reviews in history. Almost as bad as the reviews for this game. Holy shit, five saves. Damn. Uh, I'm guessing I'm going to be coming back here a lot. Well, I don't want to use them up just yet. I don't think there's any reason to. I'm not really in any particular danger, so let me go to Kenzo. Uh, where's the newest vac tube? I think it's this way. I think it's. Oh, hey, what's up? How are you doing today, sir? Would you like a hug? Oh, God, he's trying to eat my neck! Holy shit! This... No, this is a dorm room. Definitely not. Actually, wait, is there a vac tube in the dorm room? Holy shit, there is. Okay. Uh, I better do this fast. I will take that. I will take that. Um, oh shit, he's not the one that has the, the blue cards. Okay, time to leave. Okay, and I'm taking these here. No, here. This way. Alright, let's test this desk key out. Oh shit, she's awake. Alright, let's get this over with. Ah! 
Jesus, come on. There we go. I know I can shoot her, but there's really no reason to waste the ammo. Okay. Use drawer with desk key. Hello, what the fuck? What in the hell am I going to do with a silver bell? Delicate silver bell. Probably a 17th century altar bell. The clapper's missing. A bell without the clapper. So it's a bell that can't make noise on its own. The hell am I supposed to do with that? Alright, well, I think I'm safe in this corridor. It doesn't seem like this zombie wants to wake up. So... Yeah, I guess I'll just hang out here, find a vac tube with Karn. The hell is the newest, nearest vac tube? And pump those blue tags over to Madlock. Hey, what's up? <laughs> Okay, fuck this. Ooh, there it is. Ooh, a vac tube. Ooh. Well, I might as well give her the lichen. And the herb. And now we need to find somewhere safe. I think this is safe. Uh, you know, I think I'm actually gonna leave... I need to store this stuff, okay. Let me just leave this in the vac tube for now. And once I've used up the tags, I'm gonna, I guess, store it in the bulkhead or something? Oh no, the body's gone. Something tells me it got up by itself. Uh, what could tell you, whatever could tell you that? Maybe the fact that it's walking towards you right now? Oh shit. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I think the body got up. God damn it. Get the fuck off me. Kenzo! Okay, this room is not safe. <sighs> How hurt is he? Oh, he's fine. Well, shit. <laughs> this room isn't safe. <laughs> this room looks safe, but it... Never mind. God damn it. Where can I... Uh... Brilliant pathfinding. Good job, game developers. You know what? Fuck this. I'm going back to my airlock. See ya. Actually, I don't have to go back to my airlock. I can just stay here. Okay. Blue tag 
required. Alright, let's use it up here and let's use up the other one. Alright, now let's go stuff some shit into that storage container. Yeah, this game is Inventory Management and Keycard Simulator 2000. Hmm. Well, I can't fit anything else in the Baker Street hatch anyway, so no point in try Um, Zombie, why did you just show up through the wall? Okay, before I go into this door, I will be right back. Alright, let's enter the door. Um... Nope. Let's enter the other door. Uh, that looks better. I think this is Sterile 1, one of the two sterilization chambers that protect against bacterial infection. No <laughs> need to use the antibacterial sprays. Yeah, I don't think this, um, antibacterial chamber is very antibacterial-y anymore, because there appears to be a dead, rotting body in the middle of the room. Oh, there's the third and last blue tag. Damn, there's a lot of stuff here. Okay. Locker key. I can't ever remember coming across a locked locker. So I don't think I found what that's for yet. All right, let's leave the key for now. I don't like long hallways where I can't see the end of them. That makes me uncomfortable. Okay, where am I going? Blue. I think... I think this is heading to Broadway. Oh. Well, not getting through there. The music sure just got creepy. Alright, which one's yellow? One of these is yellow. Oh, never mind. Yellow needs to go to Kenzo. Okay. Great tag required. All right, let's send that over to Kenzo. Wait, what about dorm tag number one? Have I already been there? I can't remember. Hmm. In fact, can I even get there? I actually think that might be behind a bulkhead. Yeah, I think dorm number one is behind a bulkhead. Maybe? I don't know. Whatever. Let's listen to this. Andrew Muir, Chief Infomash Operator. Daylog, August 8th, 2018, 1017 AM. 
I wanted to go down below with the rest on the big day, but someone has to look after the information systems. So here I am, kicking my heels about the base. Takami's been a pain in the ass, still refusing me one of those guns that Earth Control shipped in. People are getting pretty twitchy around here. Things are quiet at the moment. About a dozen personnel remain at ground level. I'll stick with mood. That computer has more personality than anyone on the base. Over keeps hassling me about the common escape systems being unreliable in the event of major biohazard. Well, I've done my best with the hardware I've got in this godforsaken planet, okay? And I've rigged a special setup for Airlock 2. That's a neat little piece of electronic artwork, if you ask me. If you want miracles, send for Kenjo Yuji. I'm just an ordinary genius, right? And what's so bad about my little arrangement, huh? Couldn't be simpler. Use the scarab on the door, then speak its name. Use the scarab on the door, then speak its name. Must be the door out of Airlock 2. The door out of Airlock 2? But which one's Airlock 2? I don't think they say. Let me just write a note about that. And also, sh he said if you want miracles, ask for Kenjo Huji. So, Kenzo's a fucking genius, apparently? Well, I'm glad I have a genius on my team. Unfortunately, the genius is being controlled by someone who isn't a genius. Me. Alright, Airlock 2 Scarab. Yeah, I don't know which one that is. And I just realized something right now. Look at the times for all the different people. I know that Karn's watch stopped, but I didn't realize everybody else's watch stopped at a different time. And they each have four numbers. Do you know how many numbers it takes to access their personal restricted files? Four. I think those are the passwords for everyone. Let's give it a shot. I have a computer right here. I'm gonna write them all down. Three, one, seven, two. Okay. Four, eight, six, four, bingo. All right, let's get the details on Karn. Age 31, height six foot two inches. Nationality, American, profession, security operations officer. Psychological profile, ex-military. Martin Karn is a disciplined individual. He possesses a highly inventive mind and a flexible response to demanding situations. When he is faced with a problem, he's like a dog at a bone. He just won't let go. He is a natural leader, even when others don't want to be led, although much of his gung-ho style is definitely tongue-in-cheek. His personal courage is remarkable. On the darker side, he tends to hide an unhappy, uh, guilty personality under a thick veneer of cynicism and indifference. Ooh, sounds deep. Kenzo, 25. 5 foot 11 inches, Japanese, profession, info mesh and general computer system analyst and designer. Psychological profile, in some ways typical of the latest breed of techno hippies, Kenzo is a remote, introspective personality with an offbeat style. He is solitary by nature, but when occasion demands, will force himself to be moderately sociable. Like all info meshers, he is liable to become disassociated from reality. His intellect is formidable, characterized by lateral... Uh, lateral thinking, and flashes of pure genius. Kenzo's psychic talents are second to none. His failing is that he may become too self-absorbed, especially following periods of info-meshing. Now let's read about myself. Twenty Diane Matlock, 26, 5 foot 10 inches, British, microbiologist. Psychological profile. Diane Matlock is a cultured, well-balanced personality with a somewhat expressive nature. Her intellect is keen and her morale and physical courage considerable. When placed in severe stress and life-threatening situ situations, she tends to resort to a jokey, casual attitude, always masking any fear. She has a healthy disregard for the more pompous forms of authority and an ability to function in severe conditions. 
A diehard Democrat, she dislikes any reference to her. Uh, bleh. She dislikes any reference to her aristocratic birth, for which she compensates by criticizing all types of inherited privilege. She has had several lovers, none serious, and treats life as an adventure to be savored. Who the hell wrote these descriptions? These don't seem like... Like, what are these? Like, what are these even supposed to be? This sounds like... This sounds like something the game developers would put in the manual to describe the character rather than something anyone would actually have inside of a computer system within the game. Like, how the hell would even... How the hell would anyone even know this stuff? It's kind of creepy. She's had several lovers, none serious. How the fuck do they know that? Actually, you know what this reads like? This reads like... This reads like the character bios that the game creators wrote for the characters. You know, for internal use. Like, to guide them on what the characters are supposed to be. And then for some reason they decided to put them in the game. Like, these shouldn't even be here. These don't make any sense. This seriously is basically that. It seems like the bios they wrote for the characters... ...for their own internal use. Weird. Okay. So, airlock 2. <laughs> yeah, the airlocks don't have any names on them. I don't know which one's 2. But I do know this. I've been playing for an hour, so I'm gonna fucking save it. Martian Mayhem. Alright, what's left to do? Oh yeah, I can use the blue tag. But before that, now that I've just saved it, let me go down the place that has the screaming Velociraptor monster thing. Let's see what's in there. Hello! Uh... You know, I'm not sure about this, but I think that the copious amounts of blood around this doorway may indicate that there is some danger present. That's a change. An old-fashioned keyhole. A keyhole? What the hell? Uh, well, there is that locker key, but this isn't a locker, so why the hell would that be it? Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Um, is it Kenzo? The, the med bay key. I think this might be the med bay. Hold on. Well, I'm at it. Why don't I... Yeah, let's go up to this. I thought Kenzo had released all the decontaminants. So why is this one shut? Maybe this one's airlock too? There's a couple of loose screws on the panel. Maybe if I screwed the panel tighter... Uh, I don't know if I want to fix that. Okay, well, a couple things to do. Whoops, wrong way. Or is it? No, never mind, that was the right way. I totally forgot what this yellow tag is for. Oh, that's that's for Kenzo. Yeah. Oh my god, there's so many items. I'm uh, I'm losing track of them. Okay. What do I need to transfer? This needs to go to Kenzo. And then Kenzo needs to pick them up.
There's probably a vac tube that's closer than this, but I don't remember where they are. What the hell? Why did he turn around again? Turn around, and then... There you go. All right, so this is mine. Get me in and out of mood antechamber. Indeed. Hacksaw's mine. Baby bug's mine. What am I transferring again? Uh. Oh, the key to the med bay. Wasn't there something else? Oh, the screwdriver. I don't think I'm safe here. Am I safe in here? Oh, wait a minute. I have the... Yeah, I have the hacksaw and I'm at the bathroom. Might as well do it. Alright, here we go. <laughs> what am I doing? This is really horrible. What am I doing? Oh my god. The name badge reads Jameson. Ugh. Well, I don't have any use for it yet, but Jameson, I wrote a note down about this, is... Uh, has something to do with power core maintenance, so I'm guessing it's used to get into power core maintenance. Oh shit. Why is it psychically telling me three blind mice? That's a bit creepy. Okay, I think I'm actually safe here, because I don't hear any zombies moving about. And now there's actually a body right here. No, I'm going to get somewhere safe. Somewhere definitely safe. Actually, I believe this is safe. Oh, it's so comforting. I'll just stay in this room with my back to a hanging zombie. Shit, I don't have room. Too many voice recorders. Like, why can the voice recorders just be downloaded into my watch or something so that they don't take up inventory space? I mean, a physical recorder? That's so old school. <clears throat> All right, hopefully this is the key. Nice and clean and bright, and I don't think there's any zombies in here. Nope. Zombie free. Chemical extractor. A series nine polytrude extractor. It produces herb extracts in liquid form. Hmm. You don't say. Well, it just so happens I have a bunch of herbs. Not on my person, of course. Ooh, is that a key card? Wait, another blue tag? Wait. I've already used two. And there's only three. Why would I need a third blue tag? Eh, what the hell. I'll shove it in some container somewhere. Hemoflux transfuser, allowing rapid blood replacement. Too advanced for me to use, I'm afraid. Hmm.
Oh, well, there's some lichen. Oh, and a vac tube, too. All right, before I use the computer, let me see how this works. Is it done yet? Nope. I'm guessing I probably have to activate it from the computer. Uh, yes. All right, how many saves do I have on this computer? Three. Hmm. I don't want to save it yet, but I also don't want to repair that panel because there might be something... No, there's definitely some sort of monster behind the door. And repairing the panel could potentially open it, so I'm not going to save, and I'm not going to repair that panel just yet. When I do want to repair that panel, I'll save right before I do it. Well, that's boring. There's nothing on this computer. Alright, let's make some herb juice. I give this chemical extractor thumbs down. Would not buy again. Is that seriously the interface for the extractor? <laughs> so this is what the professionals use, huh? This is the software that came for this device that probably cost like a million dollars. And the GUI is a thumbs down and a thumbs up. Are you fucking kidding me? Thumbs up. Your paint has been shaken. Uh, and apparently the chemical extractor automatically puts it inside of... a syringe. Okay. Um... I don't want to take that. I'm just going to leave that in there. I don't need an antitoxin right now. Let's go use the blue tag on the one unopened blue door. I think I'm out of storage space here, right? Yep. do <laughs> Well, this one looks a bit cleaner. Once again, another long hallway that I can't see the end of. Whoa. The fuck's moving? Can't see much in there. It's full of shadows and sounds I can't put a name to. Okay. Black tag required. Welp, I'm not going in there anytime soon. Access denied. Wait, what? Oh, is that just because the other door was still open? Okay. <laughs> I thought I was locked in here. Ah. I did examine this body, right? Yes. <laughs> 